in modern day want equality between men and women. They want to be men. It used to be a time that fairy tales were true. The king and the queen and all the pills were blue. But then the pill changed, the red pills the true. Forget the married life, I got better things to do. Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, I want you to watch the entire video. If you like the video, comment, like, subscribe at the end of the video. But first, watch the entire video. Next, I would not be talking about all women, even though it feels like it. And if you haven't subscribed to my second channel, who is Anthony Spade? The link is in the description. All right, today I'm going to be reacting to two videos. The first video, a woman is asking, why are we attracted to people that do not deserve us? And the second video is going to be a woman blaming feminism on relationship problems and the way men are viewing women. Now, before we get started with these videos, guys and girls have to understand what's trending right now is relationship problems and relationship advice. One of the reasons why relationship advice is trending right now is because it's cuffing season. We're going into the fall. Typically, this is when women want to be in relationships and men start seeking relationships more as you go into the wintertime. It is natural for you to feel that way. I'm just letting regular people know it's natural for you to like someone. It's natural for you to want to be in a relationship. The only thing that's holding people back from relationships are the ideologies that they are under right now. People are going against what's happening naturally because of the different ideologies that they've taken on. If you ask me, most people right now are in a delusional world. Women are single, not by choice, but because their values are too high. Big shout outs to Coach Greg Adams on that one. And a lot of these guys are single due to the fact that they do not want to get hurt by a woman. Now, over the past 10 years, the changes that have happened, women have became more masculine and a lot of these guys have became weaker and more vulnerable. What's going on with both of them? You're outside of your natural habitat, which is why relationships are confused because of gender wars and gender roles in the relationship. Nobody wants to be on the weaker end. Nobody knows what the tough end is like. So people just choose to remain single, but now it's like single people used to just sleep around a lot. Now single people are not sleeping around a lot. They're just sitting at home watching their phones on why relationships are not working. Let's get to it. Sometimes the person that you want doesn't deserve you. Say it again. Sometimes the person that you want doesn't deserve you. It isn't that the person that you want doesn't deserve you. It's the simple fact that you are infatuated with that person so much. You want to sleep with that person so bad that you're not paying attention to anything else. You're not going to pay attention to the red flags. That's why it's very important as a man for you to always have control over your desires. If you do not have control over your desires, you're not going to be in control of the situation. You have to understand women are aware that you want to sleep with them and they're going to use that as leverage the moment you do not want to sleep with them is the moment you can see a bad girl turn good now my question is why do we pick those people because you're infatuated with them and you want to have sex with them what makes us pick the person that we know subconsciously doesn't deserve our love huh I'm ready to fight myself. <laughs> what past trauma? What? Which one of you motherfuckers made me like this? It's typically starts at the home. Typically starts at the home. If mom and dad were always fighting all the time, then chances are you're going to grow up a weak individual, always catering, trying to make people happy. I've expressed this a, a, a lot of times in the past. A man has to teach another man how to be a husband the same way a woman has to teach another woman how to be a wife if there's no father around to teach you how to be a man and there's no mother around teaching you how to be a wife or a mother is around but she's not teaching you how to be a wife she's teaching you how to stay in survival mode you would never be you would never be combative compatible for a relationship for the rest of your life 
You have to understand relationships have to be taught. Too many people are running wild, right? You're running wild. Like, I want to be in a relationship. I want to love the person because I want to have sex with them. That's what you're doing. You're infatuated with them. So you want, you think that that's love. But what you're not realizing is if you have not been taught and she hasn't been taught, both of you are just running around confused to what's going to happen. Being that homes have been split apart, we've gotten away from traditional relationships and more virtual relationships. Huh? We go for the toxic boys because they're interesting and fun. Why? We don't want stability. Now, you have to realize when she says that she goes for the toxic boys, she's right. But you got to understand, a lot of you guys, you go for only the toxic women. That's why you're always getting your heart broke. That's what you come online for. You're coming online to learn how to get a woman that don't want you, but you're learning how to get a toxic woman. No man wants to try to get a good woman. You want to try to get the woman that looks better than everybody else. That's what you're here for. That's what you're coming online for. You're delusion just as much as she is delusional. And true love? Um, <laughs> my therapist is definitely getting a call later tonight. Most people, in general, are not, the are not going to fall in love. And the reason why they're not going to fall in love is because they don't have a game plan. They have a selfish plan. What do I mean by a selfish plan? I mean, they want to be in a relationship so they're not lonely. That's the only reason why they want to be in a relationship. It's not like, oh, I want to be in a relationship so I can help build this business and we can travel the world together and we can build houses together. We can build a family together. We can build an empire together. Most people are not thinking about that in a relationship. They're thinking, who can I have standing next to me to listen to me all the time? And then when I want to have sex, we can have sex. That's where relationships are at, which is why they do not work. All right. You're gravitating towards the wrong people because the wrong people are exciting because you do not have a life. The more lonelier you are, the more you're going to attract to the wrong person because the wrong person is exciting and their excitement gives you dopamine throughout your life. But they don't look at themselves as being exciting. They look at themselves as just being miserable, trying to figure their life out. And you just loving people who do not know themselves. All right, next video is going to be a woman talking about feminism and she's kind of upset with feminist women. Let's get to it. I don't think modern day feminists want equality between men and women. I think they want to be men. They don't take any pride in being feminine. They grow their armpit hair out. They say we need to bring down the patriarchy. But who is the patriarchy? Do you think it's men who set all these standards for women to uphold in the beauty world? You're forgetting that other women set the standards too. As a woman, I think armpit hair on women is disgusting and unhygienic. I'm a woman setting that beauty standard, not a man. I also think a woman should pride herself on being a good mother and taking care of her family in the home. Not to say that you can't have a job at the same time, but no one can do what a mother can do and you should be proud of that, not want to destroy that. Men and women are not the same, and that's beautiful. I'm proud to be a woman, I don't want to be a man. So on behalf of all women who like being women, can you guys stop trying to make us men? I absolutely agree with her. But what, what people have to understand is the reason why they're trying to make women just like men is because you have a lot of women who are ugly, who are fat, who are sloppy, that never had attention, that have power to push agendas. That's why a lot of these women are very confused. It's because they've allowed ugly women with power to convince them that they don't need a man. Being that women are on the bottom of the vulnerable list, they're very vulnerable. It's easy to manipulate their mind. This is why when you go to the mall, 90% of those stores are for women. This is why 90% of women, all the money that they make, go right back into buying things to make them feel good. Think about how many strippers are make 30,000 over a weekend, right? But be broke by Tuesday and done spent five, $10,000 on bags just to feel good. You have to understand this. If you cannot put the phone down 
and you cannot design your own life, society would design a life for you. For the most part, this is what life is about. The rich of the rich is to stay rich by keeping you insecure. You have to understand the people that sell you the products that you buy to feel good don't wear those products. They don't use those products. But if they have you thinking you're not good enough unless you buy those products, then you dedicate your life to working to buy things to feel good that keeps the rich getting richer. So the more you separate men and women, the easier it is to place them in categories and put their mind in a position to spend money in the ways that the rich is only going to get richer. You have to understand that that's where we're going for in life. There's no need for big weddings anymore when they're trying to depopulate the population, right? Hopefully you guys are able to get the message in the video. Comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels. Hasta la vista.